thank you for making me a part of this. He was a tight-fisted hand to grindstone, Scrooge. A squeezing, wrenching, grasping, clutching, covetous old sinner. <clears throat> oh, Cratchit. Yes, Mr. Scrooge? Who is this? It's Mr. Applegate, sir. He's here to speak to you about his mortgage. Please, Mr. Scrooge, I know you're very angry about this, and I didn't mean to fall behind in the payment. Lord knows it being Christmas and all. Oh, please don't shout at me, sir. That, and of course, little Gwen, her lungs aren't right. The doctor takes his share, don't he? I mean, you can yell and scream, and you're right, but it won't do no good, <clears throat> because I'm a stone you can't squeeze blood from, and that's the truth! <laughs> Let us deal with the eviction notices for tomorrow, Mr. Cratchit. Huh? Tomorrow's Christmas, sir. Very well. You may gift wrap them. Let us help you with that, Mr. Cratchit. Oh, neither. I'm certainly a lot today. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Christmas is a very busy time for us, Mr. Cratchit. People preparing feasts, giving parties, spending the mortgage money on frivolities. One might say that December is the foreclosure season. Harvest time for the money lenders. If you please, Mr. Scrooge, it's gotten colder. Yeah. And the bookkeeping staff would like to have an extra shovel full of coal for the fire. We can't do the bookkeeping. Yeah, all of our pens have turned to insicles. Yeah. Our assets are frozen. How would the bookkeepers like to be suddenly unemployed? <laughs> this is my island in the sun. I believe you can bring once again, Mr. Scrooge. 